What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Success Squad. I'm Positively Udo. Today, I'm talking about Nicki Minaj and how she's utilizing the law of attraction right now. But first, if you're not a part of the Success Squad, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button. <laughs> okay, just hit that button. 90% of you watch, but you don't subscribe. Let me save you some effort and some energy so you can find my videos. Just hit subscribe before you're going to do. The Success Squad is a group of people who are achieving success on their own terms. I post videos, a lot of videos, about law of attraction and other principles of success. And Nicki Minaj is a good example of what not to do right now, okay? What not to do to achieve uh, what you want. So Nicki Minaj... She's been utilizing the law of attraction in her career very well up to now. Um, before in the past, Nicki Minaj was not one to necessarily start drama. Um, she was not one to stir things up. And she used to just take the high road. She used to just not comment on drama, which was a good tactic. It worked. Nowadays, she's focused on drama. She's so focused on drama that it's actually to the detriment of her career. Her album came in number two, and she had to cancel her tour, North American tour. And I think it's because she's been focusing on other people rather than focusing on herself. And she's been comparing herself to other people. When you compare yourself, I'm sure you've heard the quote, What's the quote? The devil is in comparison, or the comparison is the devil. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Don't. You're not supposed to compare yourself to other people because that is a guaranteed way to bring negative thoughts to your mind. What you think about, you bring about. And what is on your mind most of the time is what is going to manifest in your life. It's very apparent that what's on Nikki's mind most of the time is, how do I compare to other people? How do I compare to her? How do I compare to him? She became very upset when her album became number two. But if she had focused on just herself and just her own success, rather than stirring up trouble about Safari and Cardi B, she may have been number one. She may have had more mental energy and creativity to come up with ways to hit number one. Instead of Travis Scott, maybe, who knows, maybe she would have been able to put Cardi B on a song and hit number one. Nicki Minaj will never do that. <laughs> her ego and her pride is too big, and she is having too much of a good time comparing herself to others. So because of that negativity, it's negatively affecting her sales, um, is it any wonder that she attracted uh, doing a song with 6 9 who right now is under fire right now, and that added more negativity to her career? So at the moment, her career is going this way, and it's an easy fix. It's an easy fix. All Nikki has to do is go back to doing what she was great at, which was mining her own biz and killing the game, happily killing the game. Uh, if she goes back to that, she goes back to positive thinking, which is every situation, use it to your benefit. If she goes back to that, her career is going to go back up. But, you know, sometimes when you're in a rut, sometimes when you're just in your feelings, you get addicted to that negative feeling. You get addicted to it. It's kind of It's kind of weird. It's kind of like, have you ever, like, talk to a kid who was upset or mad and you try to cheer them up and it's like they are purposely refusing to be happy. Like they are refusing to let themselves smile. You know what I mean? Um, I was talking with a good friend the other day and she was telling me about some issues she was having and we were kind of working it out and we were making her smile, and we asked her, you know, how did you feel after this conversation? And she was like, I was annoyed. I was like, really, you were annoyed? She 
was like, yeah, because you made me smile. I didn't want to smile, but you're making me smile. So we just have a tendency to kind of be addicted to um, these negative feelings. But if Nikki can break that, she's going to see a lot of wonderful results. So uh, moral of the story is don't compare yourself to others. It triggers negative thinking in your mind. And if you are as obsessed with your craft as Nikki is, Nikki is obsessed with her craft. When your mind goes negative and you're obsessed with something, you become obsessed with a negative thought. You become your dominating thought. Therefore, it becomes the negativity that you bring to yourself. If you can refrain from doing that, create the habit of not comparing yourself to others, then you can save yourself a lot of grief and maybe even have a number one album. So uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, how do you think Nicki Minaj can turn her career around and be a little bit more positive? And if you liked it, make sure you like it. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. Check it out. It's just basically vlogs um, and behind-the-scenes footage. I'm going to be posting every day. That's my goal. Don't hold me to it, but it's my goal to post every day. So make sure you subscribe. I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. And with that, much love, much love. Peace out.